Hi, everybody. Do you read your Bible before you go to bed? I just wanted to read the 10th chapter of Ecclesiastes to you because I always talk about Ecclesiastes, the 10th chapter and the 19th verse, and money answers all things. We wanna make sure that our social entrepreneurs are affecting change by having all the tools that they need spiritually, emotionally, financially, and we wanna make sure that they have all of the physical tools that they need to run their businesses. This is one of my favorite books in the Bible, Ecclesiastes. I love the wisdom books, I love the Proverbs, I love the Psalms, but listen to a little bit of this. Ecclesiastes, the 10th chapter and the 19th verse. Well, that will come later, but I'm gonna start at the first verse. Dead flies cause the ointment of the apothecary to send forth a stinking savor. So doth the little folly, him that is in reputation for wisdom and honor. A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart at his left. Yea, also, when he that is a fool walketh by the way, his wisdom faileth him. And he saith to every one that he is a fool. If the spirit of the ruler rise up against thee, leave not thy place, for yielding pacifieth great offenses. So don't run, don't flee. Stand when you have a disagreement. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an error which precedeth from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it and whoso breaketh an hedge a serpent shall bite him. Whoso removeth stones shall be hurt therewith, and he that cleaveth wood shall be endangered thereby. If the iron be blunt, and he do not wet the edge, then must he put to more strength, but wisdom is profitable to direct. Surely the serpent will bite without enchantment, and a babbler is no better. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. In the beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. A fool is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be, and what shall be after him. Who can tell him? The labor of the foolish wearieth every one of them, because he knoweth not how to go to the city. Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child, and thy princes eat in the morning. Blessed art thou, O land, when thy king is the son of nobles. And thy princes eat in due season, for strength and not for drunkenness. By much slothfulness, the building decayeth. And through idleness of the hands, the house droppeth through. A feast is made for laughter and wine maketh merry, but money answereth all things. Curse not the king, no, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which wings, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter. Now that's really a mouthful there, because so many times today you hear people speaking out against leadership, speaking out against presidents, speaking out against governors. I have even been guilty myself of calling out 
not necessarily speaking against governors, but calling out those governors who don't want the truth about American history to be taught. You know, we walk a fine line as social critics and current event analysts as we critique situations. I like to think of myself as a person who operates in grace and mercy. But when I look at the 20th chapter, I'm sorry, the 20th verse of the 10th chapter of Ecclesiastes, let's read that again. Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. Curse not the king, know not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. That's a private area. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter. So when we speak about people in private, chances are that person may find out that we've spoken about them. And I always say that how we speak of other people tells more about us than the actual person. Do well with this information. We've just read the 10th chapter in the book of Ecclesiastes. Have a great night.